Have you eaten a balut? Balut is a developing duck embryo that's boiled alive in its shell. It is commonly sold as street food most notably in the Philippines, Cambodia and Vietnam. In the Philippines, balut is generally incubated for 14 to 18 days before being boiled for consumption. Hello, welcome to Artie's Kitchen, I am feeling hungry right now and I am adventurous when it comes to food. Today, let's take a look at some of the weirdest food in the world. Here on, Artie's Amazing World. Let's take a look at the menu for today. Our first dish is, Kiviak from Greenland. This is a dish consisting of hundreds of auk birds stuffed into the body of a seal, no, not that seal. The animal. It is then sewn shut and sealed with seal fat to prevent flies from getting in. It is then buried and left to ferment for 3 to 18 months. The taste of kiviak has been described as similar to gorgonzola cheese. This unusual preservation method helped Greenlanders survive harsh winters and food shortages. Speaking of cheese, there is this illegal cheese from Italy which can also be found in Corsica, France. This is called the Kazu Martsu. It is dangerous to eat and could be fatal, which is why it is banned in most countries. This is created by leaving whole pecorino cheeses outside with part of the rind removed to allow the eggs of the cheese fly Piafala Cassae to be laid in the cheese. The eggs hatch and the larvae begin to eat through the cheese. The acid from the maggot's digestive system breaks down the cheese's fats, making the texture of the cheese very soft. By the time it is ready for consumption, a typical Kazu Martsu will contain thousands of these maggots. Since we're in the subject of worms, let's bring out the Tommy look from the Philippines. It is known as a woodworm because it is basically a worm that does eat wood. It is found in decaying, rotten logs or thick tree trunks submerged underwater in swamps like mangroves. The wood is then cracked open in order to extract the slimy creatures from inside. Once you've cracked open the log, you can find the Tommy look clams wiggling through the wood, making holes as they go along. They are actually not woodworms at all but mollusks, like a clam or oyster, and they are in the same family as the mysterious shipworm. Tommy look can be eaten raw dipped in vinegar or breaded and deep fried. Next in the menu is the Duong Dua of Vietnam. It is a coconut worm, a type of snout beetle at its larva stage. Coconut worms have a high amount of protein due to the consumption of nutrients from the trees. Coconut worms are surprisingly sweet and have a soft texture. This yellow-colored larva is also eaten alive, mostly dipped in fish sauce. It doesn't have a strong flavor or aroma. It is delicious, especially when it is deep-fried. Next in the menu is the Hakarl from Iceland. Hakarl is a national dish of Iceland consisting of a Greenland shark or other sleeper shark that has been cured with a particular fermentation process and hung to dry for 4 to 5 months for the fermentation process to reduce the natural toxins in shark meat. Soft, white hakarl from the shark's body has a cheese-like texture, while reddish meat from the belly is chewier. Those who sample it describe the flavor in far-ranging terms, from fishy and mild to strong like blue cheese. Most agree that the lingering aftertaste can be described only as urine. Next in the menu is the Hormiga Colonna or the edible fat-bottomed ants from Colombia. Fat-bottomed ants, known as Hormiga Colonna, are a popular delicacy in Colombia. They are either roasted or fried, and eaten like peanuts. They taste like peanut shells, salty and crunchy, and are sometimes also compared to pork rinds. The ants are large and always female, while some believe that they have aphrodisiacal properties. Next in the menu is the Shiokara from Japan. Shiokara is a Japanese delicacy made from various marine animals that consists of small pieces of meat in a brown viscous paste of the animal's heavily salted, fermented internal organs. The raw organs are mixed with about 10% salt, 30% malted rice, packed in a closed container, and fermented for up to a month. The flavor is similar in saltiness and fishiness to that of European cured anchovies, but with a different texture. One method of enjoying it is to consume the serving in one gulp and to follow it with a shot of straight whiskey. Next in the menu is the Cria Dilias, or the bull's testicles from Latin America. In Argentina, Spain and Mexico the testicles are fried and served with salsa, but in the US you might know them as Rocky Mountain oysters. Cria Dilias, is the Latino recipe for bull's testicles. Cria Dilias, are fried bull's testicles, eaten predominantly in regions where bullfighting is popular and often by the victorious matador. There is a similar dish in the Philippines called soup number no. 5. It is a soup made from bull's testes or penis. It is believed to have aphrodisiac properties. Next in the menu is the Gung Ten or Dancing Shrimp from Thailand. This is a popular dish in Northeast Thailand and Laos. It consists of fresh raw shrimp in spicy sauce with fresh herbs. The shrimp are often calm until they are covered in the sauce which then causes them to jump around trying to escape, giving the illusion that they are dancing. There is similar to the jumping salad of Ilocondia and some other part in the Philippines. The freshwater shrimp is literally alive and kicking eaten by squeezing lemon with salt and adding onions and ginger. Another similar dish is the odori ebi of Japan and a form of sashimi. The sushi contains baby shrimp that are still alive, 
The meal is prepared quickly to keep the shrimp alive, and when it is eaten the shrimp are usually dunked into sake so as to intoxicate the shrimp, then into a special dipping sauce, and finally quickly chewed. Next in the menu is the Beyondegi of South Korea. Beyondegi are a South Korean delicacy consisting of cooked silkworm pupae, typically either boiled or steamed. They are a very common street food snack where they are served in a paper cup with a toothpick. Beyondegi has a strong, notable taste but not an unpleasant one, and are said to smell like burned wood. The texture is the most unusual because the larvae are like little bags that, despite being almost empty, sometimes explode in the mouth when mottled. Next in the menu is the ants egg soup from northeastern Thailand and Laos. Ants egg soup is a traditional northeastern Thai and Laotian delicacy prepared using ant eggs combined with snakehead fish, garlic, galangal, lemongrass, tamarind bean, lime juice, basil leaves, tomatoes and fish stock. The ant eggs used consist of both the eggs and pupae of weaver ants, commonly called red ants in Thailand. Next in the menu is the wasp crackers from Japan. Wasp crackers, also called jibachi senbei, are a Japanese snack similar to senbei rice crackers but filled with digger wasps. They're boiled and dried, then added to rice cracker mix. A hot iron cracker cutter stamps out the finished rounds. According to one reviewer, the finished cracker has a mild sweet and savory flavor, while the wasps themselves taste like burnt raisins but with a bitter, acidic note. Before we proceed, please have time to like this video, share this to your friends, and of course, subscribe. Next in the menu is the Wichita Grub of Australia. The Wichita Grub is a term used in Australia for the large, white, wood-eating larva of several moths. The term may also apply to larvae of other cossid moths, ghost moths, and longhorn beetles. The grub is the most important insect food of the desert and has historically been a staple in the diets of Aboriginal Australians. Next in the menu is the Eskimo from Mexico, also known as insect caviar. This dish is made of the edible larva and pupae of ants, harvested from the tequila or mezcal plant. Considered something of a delicacy, it is said to have the consistency of cottage cheese and a buttery, nutty taste. They are most commonly consumed in Mexico City and surrounding areas. Escamoles have been consumed in Mexico since the age of the Aztecs. Next in the menu is the Stink Bugs from Africa. These are used to flavor stews or eaten on their own. Stink bugs are said to have a crunch to them and taste a little like apple. They are a delicacy for the Venda people of Limpopo and for the Mapulana people of Impamalanga. They are an important source of protein, vitamins and microelements. Stink bugs are also used in various Thai foods for their unusual scent. They are also barbecued and eaten whole. They are marinated in salt, garlic and sugar and then barbecued until crispy. Sometimes they are wrapped in banana leaves for extra flavor. Next in the menu is the Southern Fried Rattlesnake from the United States. Rattlesnake meat is white, tender, and tastes like a cross between frog legs and turtle. A favorite in the southwestern United States, it's said to taste a little like frog's legs. Experts advise boiling the meat off the bones before dipping in egg and covering in seasoned salt mix, flour and breadcrumbs. Deep fat fry and munch away. Next in the menu is the Cui Guinea Pig from Peru and Ecuador. The name Cui is South American Spanish for members of the species Cavia porcellus. These guinea pigs are much larger, however, because they are a domesticated guinea pig kept as livestock for meat. A traditional Peruvian dish, guinea pig has been served whole on special occasions since Inca times. If you want to order guinea pig in a restaurant, you'll need to ask for Cui, which is pronounced Cui. It can be prepared in any number of ways. Cui can be grilled, served with a spicy sauce, potatoes and rice, or roasted, al horno, and stuffed. Next in the menu is the Fried Tarantulas from Cambodia. Fried spider is a regional delicacy in Cambodia, especially in the town of Skuon in the Kampong Cham province. Tarantulas became part of the Cambodian diet by necessity during the rule of the Khmer Rouge when food was scarce. People were eating anything possible to eat, and the things that were actually tasty, like tarantulas, stayed a part of the Cambodian diet. The abdomen and head are crispy on the outside and gooey in the middle with delicate white meat. The abdomen also has a brown paste of organs and excrements and sometimes eggs. The legs contain very little meat but are pleasantly crunchy. Next in the menu is the Gomutra, India. Gomutra is cow urine from India. Drinking Gomutra has been practiced for thousands of years, and it is usually consumed for therapeutic purposes as Ayurvedic medicine with claimed health benefits. While all cow urine is considered beneficial, the urine of a pregnant cow is considered especially potent in hormones and minerals. Gomutra is claimed to treat psoriasis, leprosy, fevers, liver ailments, and cancer. Next in the menu is the baby mouse wine, China. This is a rice wine with at least a dozen baby mice are drowned in it. The mice used must be still blind and hairless. The brew is matured for at least a year before drinking. 
Mouse wine is drunk as a health tonic for asthma and liver diseases, rather than as an aperitif. The claimed health benefits have, as far as we know, not been verified by double-blind testing. Mouse wine tastes like gasoline with an aftertaste of rotting animals and the smell is described as incredibly strong and putrid. Mouse wine is mostly drunk in southern China but has also been consumed in ancient Korea. Next in the menu is the, Hugo de Rana, Peru. Hugo de Rana is also called frog juice, a frog smoothie. The frog is then skinned and cleaned, and put in a blender with water and other ingredients such as quail eggs, honey, spices, and local plants. The blended frothy green goo is then strained to remove any bone fragments. Street vendors tote the drink as a healthy aphrodisiac energy drink. It's considered almost a spiritual beverage, the recipes having been passed down through the generations. The strongest part of the taste is that of maca, a native root from the Andes of Peru. It's earthy, malty, and rather pleasant tasting. You cannot really taste the frog, but the color of the juice is distinctly blended frog-like. It's not fully smooth but closer to a thick shake. Next in the menu is the, Virgin Boy Eggs, China. Though the name suggests, no, these are not balls of teenage boys. These are normal eggs, boiled. Sounds like nothing special, right? These however are eggs boiled in the urine, until hard. Young boy's urine is collected in schools and markets around the city in buckets placed there by street vendors. The eggs are then cracked and continue to boil for several hours to let the urine soak into the egg. The golden eggs smell strongly of urine but the taste has been described as delicate, salty, and addictive. This traditional dish is centuries old and was originally a food preservation method. There is no good explanation as to why it has to be the urine of young boys it's just part of the tradition. Next in the menu is the, Ortolan, France. The Ortolan, also called Ortolan bunting, is a Eurasian bird in the bunting family Emberizidae. The captured Ortolans are kept in cages and tricked into thinking it is night by removing their eyes or darkening the cage, leading them to overeat and fatten. They are then drowned alive in a vat of Armagnac and cooked. France banned hunting in 1999. Killing and cooking this delicate little songbird is banned across the EU. Those who have eaten the tiny birds applaud the hazelnut flavors and rich gameness of the meat, and famous chefs have described the eating experience as close to ecstasy. Next in the menu is the, fruit bat soup, Guam. Bats are eaten in the Pacific Rim in Asia including Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, and Guam. Fruit bats are a commonly eaten bat, eating only fruit and their taste is described as similar to chicken. In Guam, the flying fox bat is a common dish and was eaten so often that it became endangered. Bats can be barbecued, grilled, or deep fried, making the whole bat possible to eat. Next in the menu is the, stinking bishop cheese, United Kingdom. This is Britain's smelliest cheese, made from the milk of rare Gloucestershire cows. The rind is washed in an alcohol named perry derived from stinking bishop pear, hence the name stinking bishop cheese. The perry washing gives the cheese its distinct putrid aroma. The smell has been described as a rugby club changing room, the taste is pungent and meaty, and the texture is soft and creamy. Next in the menu is the, surströmming, northern Sweden. Surströmming is one of the worst smelling foods in the world. It is made of Baltic sea herring and fermented in brine for six months and it continues to ferment in the can. The fermentation is done in a two-part process. The first strong brine draws out the blood for 20 hours, then the herrings are beheaded and gutted. Then it's placed in a weaker brine that ferments the herring. This Swedish delicacy is eaten with flatbread, potatoes, and onions. It is washed down with generous amounts of schnapps. Because of the strong smell, surströmming is ordinarily eaten outdoors. So, table for two? What would you like to order? I also have two videos in the menu below, please check them out.